Hey guys, so for today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be remodeling that one gallon shrimp tank that I set up a few months ago. So, let's dive right into the video. Well guys, here is the tank seven months after I set it up. If you missed that video when I set it up, I highly recommend you go watch it. In that video, I just used some aquarium plant seeds that are commonly advertised on Amazon and eBay. And to my surprise, they actually sprouted and they are still alive to this day. All I've done is just trim them every month or so and they come back just fine. Also in that video, I kind of went for a Stonehenge look. You can see back there the little structure that I tried to build, but it's a little hard to see because of all of the vegetation and it's a little bit overgrown. Also in this tank, just have some snails as you can see right here on the glass. There's a ram's horn snail and some bladder snails and there's also a few neocaridina shrimp in here But the whole reason why I'm actually redoing this tank is just because it's overgrown of course But I've just been getting tired of looking at the same thing for seven months and it's time to change that Well, I just got the tank nice and cleaned up and I just wanted to show you guys, these are the plants that grow from these little seed packets from Amazon and eBay. So if you don't end up trimming these plants like every month, this is how big they'll grow. Just wanted to show you guys, this is like the type of plant that you'll most likely get if you get one of those little seed packets. So let's just go back to the tank now. Well guys, this is what the tank looks like all cleaned up and emptied out. You may notice those little Easter Island heads in there. I picked these guys up from Amazon for like 13 bucks and I thought they looked really cool. And since the last theme of this tank was kind of a Stonehenge theme, I thought it'd be cool to incorporate kind of another ancient structure. So these little Easter Island heads looked like an awesome fit to me. The only problem is this big Easter Island head right here is a little bit too big. He's pretty tall for the tank. He's about the same size as it. So what I'm thinking is right where my thumb is, I'm probably gonna have to take a saw and just saw it in half just so it's just the head. And then it should fit and look pretty nice. But again, I'm really hoping these will turn out and look cool and not just look really cheesy and dumb. As for the rest of the tank, you see those two balls of moss or moss balls back there. They're pretty big and what I was thinking is take those moss balls and flatten them out and just carpet it and it will look like grass with the Easter Island heads in the back. So that's my plan for this tank. To the best of my knowledge, this will work out just fine. The only problem I might have is the bottom layer of the moss might like brown up and die, but hopefully that doesn't happen. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these moss balls out of the tank. So I got the Marimo moss balls right here in this container and you can see they're already kind of falling apart. There's a big hole in that one. And I did end up cutting this head in half and it fits pretty good in there. I don't know how I'm gonna like it once the Marimo moss balls are in. And I have some gravel just for the bottom of the tank. So I pretty much have everything ready right here. So all I really need to do is just put it in the tank and get it ready. Hopefully this is enough gravel for this tank. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna need too much. Here's a pro tip. You wanna slope the gravel all the way to the back so it looks like the tank is a little bit bigger and gives the tank some depth. Now I'm gonna take the little statues that I have and just position them in the tank to something that looks cool and appealing. 
So it just got everything in place and I did end up cutting that small statue in half just like the larger statue and I think this looks pretty cool. It's gonna look good with the little marima moss ball carpet. That's what I have to do next. So I have the moss balls right here and I've already kind of started to flatten them out and kind of like unravel them. It might be easier with scissors, but I'm too lazy to go grab scissors, so. All right, so I'd say I got this one as flat as I can. And yeah, here's a carpet of moss ball. Hopefully you guys can see right now. And I'm just gonna try and spread this out in the gravel. And I'm just gonna start filling in the bare spots with moss. Hopefully this looks a little bit better when it's filled up with uh, water. So I just finished carpeting all of the Marimo moss ball on the gravel and it looks pretty good, but the color of green that the moss is, is pretty ugly. It looks just like brown and dead. But now I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this guy up with some water. So the tank is all filled up now and it looks exactly how I imagined it, which I'm really happy about. The only problem that I had was when I first filled it up, the moss actually floated up. So I had to go back in and kind of push it down into the gravel. But hopefully given enough time, it will start to attach to the gravel underneath it and it won't float up. And hopefully it will start to kind of reach up towards the light and look a little bit more natural. But still, I am really happy with how this turned out. If you're interested in doing the same thing that I did and making a carpet out of this Marimo moss ball, I'd recommend trying to make the moss ball into one big mat or one big carpet. One of the moss balls, I did that and it just had like one big piece and that piece tended to stay at the bottom when I was filling it up. But the one with a bunch of little tiny pieces just ended up floating around. And the care requirements for moss balls are super easy. I've heard people just say that you could probably keep them in a toilet and they'd still be alive. So hopefully this stuff will thrive down here, which I'm pretty sure it will the next day so i wasn't really planning on adding anything to this tank for a while but i was looking at this tank right next to it and i saw all of the little baby white cloud minnows that are in here and i just thought to myself why not put them in there so i just got done adding three baby white cloud minnows to this tank once they grow up all the way i'll probably end up moving them and then i'll probably just end up putting more babies in here but hopefully they do well in here this tank isn't necessarily cycled yet, so I'll definitely do a water change in here every one or two days, just so the nutrients don't build up too much. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys the little white cloud minnows that I put in here. Also, if you have any questions regarding this tank, you can leave them down in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them, so yeah. That's it for today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like what you're seeing, you like my content, you can consider subscribing. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. Also, if you wanna see more of my fish tanks, you can give me a follow on Instagram at Barry's Aquarium. Also, I even made a TikTok, so you can give me a follow there if you wanna see even more of my fish tanks. With that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.